Hidden for nearly 15,000 years, there's a new discovery that's changing what we think we know about how the Americas were settled. So there's this team at Florida State University that uh, discovered stone tools alongside mastodon bones. That means they found the oldest known site of human life in the southeastern U.S. Consider that. Think about it for just a second. Two hundred and sixty-four meters of wall that reaches up to two and a half meters of beautifully dressed stones. Now, what is interesting about these stones? Well, the architects were British and uh, the people who built it were people who found their home here. It is not in European tradition to build walls or structures with the stones, every one of different size. The way we think about building it is to make blocks or to make bricks, all of them the same size, and then start building. It's very simple and it's very easy to manufacture. So the production is very easy. It's a mass production. You make millions of bricks or blocks and then you build your structures. But here, every stone is of different size. As we can see, there are not only four sides, rectangular blocks or square blocks, but also blocks with six sides. Now, this is something that do not belong to our European tradition. And when we see some of the corner blocks, we have many more sides. We can even count them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen sizes. Is it something that we do, that we've been doing in the last few centuries? Never! However, is it a tradition of the pre-Inca civilizations in ancient Peru? Of course! You go to Cusco and you will see that the block with the most sides is the one with 26 sides. Along the Urubamba Valley, the sacred valley, all the way to uh, Machu Picchu, there are structures with exactly the same shape blocks, just on the larger scale. The same thing when you go to some sites in Mexico. So the question is, who had architects and laborers to make hundreds of thousands of blocks, every one of them of different size, and to fit them like this? Not us. Uh, so then we walked around a little while until we found some random stuff. Some of that stuff being cactuses. Okay, it's cactuses. Well, even though you can get cactuses everywhere in Australia, some scientists were saying that these cactuses are specifically only found in the south and central America. There's a whole bunch of just